Greetings, YouTube. This morning, my friend Mike tagged me in a homemade weapons tag that you had to show off two weapons that you were either gifted or made yourself. So, I thought I would do the uh, the, the uh, homemade aspect too, and I think I'll throw a bonus in here just because I can. Um, so, I thought I'd talk about the first true homemade weapon I made, which is this black pipe warhammer, and then the the, the latest weapon that I, that I have produced. Though I'm sure you might people might consider the uh, buckler that I uh, the, the one-handed shield I made today, the diamond shield I posted today, as also being one that uh, could be considered a weapon because it does have big nasty spikes on it. Now this was uh, something I saw here on YouTube. This black pipe warhammer, and I thought it was kind of cool. I thought, well, I can do that, and I did that, and uh, I used a uh, uh, just standard, off-the-shelf, nothing particularly remarkable, um, black pipe, and uh, caps, and on the ends, uh, a good T, a couple of straight sections in here, a reducer, and then um, a square, a square uh, plug to make a high-impact um, concentration point for, um, in theory, denting armor, or just be, being really useful to uh, as, as demolition. This being good for uh, driving things a little, a little less, a little less forth, but a little more accuracy. Um, and uh, I have encountered while putting this together. I was talking to the guy at the at the at the hardware store, and he actually knows a contractor, and this is how the contractor makes hammers for his crew. <laughs> Because he finds it cheaper, he makes this is how he makes hammers for his crew. And when the faces wear out, he just puts new faces on them, so that he's not having to go buy new hammers. And uh, the they're being homemade tools like this, they're much much less likely to be stolen. So I thought that was kind of cool. Um, and I have made a larger version of this, um, a, a sledgehammer, um, a couple of uh, clubs that are that are in a similar design. Um, all using black pipes. I think I also made a tonfa because someone asked me for a tonfa um, at one point, and I actually showed how to build that live on not live, but I did, did the entire build on camera for my first time. That I actually tried to do something, and demonstrate how it was done, um, and then we have the post-apocalyptic axe, which is a two-handed axe um, made from a uh, pick handle and made from a 10 inch saw blade um, and I this is the last weapon I made like then again unless you consider the diamond shield a weapon and uh, this was split down the middle and then two holes drilled in it to pass through bolts um, and I actually got to use some hand chisels a hand chisel to kind of cut these little sections out here so that you could uh, get the uh, the bolt to sit flat on that side and then Use the same I uh, same idea on this side so it would sit flat. And as you can see, I had some less than perfect centering on this, but um, seeing as I was using a reciprocating saw and uh, without anything that really guide this process, um, I don't think I did that bad a job. And it is very solid, and uh, it definitely is a is a beast when it comes to swinging. Um, but uh, it was it was something I've been wanting to do for a while now. Uh, I kind of like the idea of a saw axe, and I actually have purchased a smaller 7-inch saw blade at a yard sale, which will be, be I'm going to be making into a one-handed uh, axe, and I I'm going to think I'm going to try uh, doing riveting for the first time. I've never done riveting before, so I think I'm going to try my hand at riveting. So instead of using bolts and nuts like I have here, I will be using uh, rivets made out of nails so that uh, I can see how that goes. I've got a ball peen hammer and um, I have a hard surface outside I can I, I can use a base I actually don't have an anvil set up or anything. I own a vise but it's not attached to anything so I can't really use that. Um, so that may be something I'm going to be doing the next few months or so. I don't know. I have there's a number of other projects that I have kicking around. I always seem to have more ideas and more projects I want to do than I, there is time in the day. Now the last this was a gift from my friends Skull and Kara. And this, for those of you who probably figured it out already, is a out the front knife. 
So here we go. As a bonus, this is a gifted um, weapon. My friend's scholar car gave this to me, and this sits on my desk, um, on my computer desk, and I use it for uh, opening mail and things like that. Um, because while Alta Flight and Front Knives are really, really cool, they aren't, aren't particularly strong. <laughs> I mean, the entire blade connection is right there, and they just aren't designed for a lot of rough use. Um, but they are very, very cool. Don't get me wrong, I think Alta Front Knives are just a lot of fun. No one can deny that. But uh, there you go, folks. Two handmade weapons and one gifted weapon. And I'm, I'm not going to tag anyone from this because the only person I know personally that's going to be able to make this video would be my friend Skull. And he's a very busy guy. And he's got a lot of videos of his own doing right now. But anyone who would like to talk about things that they have made um, by hand, um, do so in the, in, the, in the comment section below. You know, we're always looking for new ideas and uh, new topics to discuss when it comes to weapons on my channel.